Well, happy Sunday, everyone. It's time for the weekend video. Get ready. Well, today I want to talk about hell. Uh, Wayne Card sent me another email. That's our buddy Wayne in, in Ontario, Canada. And uh, he sent me an interesting little uh, article to read. And it was because he was wondering about um, where Jesus says in Luke chapter 12 um, to fear him who can cast the body into hell. And, um, and he suspected the Jews probably would fear that if they had very strong uh, beliefs about burial. And he was right. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was right. And in the article, it explains that the Jews were very sensitive about where they were going to be buried. Um, they thought about it their entire lives, as a matter of fact. Um, they had to be either buried in the earth or in a cave. And then, of course, wealthy Jews, um, they would actually pay for a cave to be dug out of rock. Um, which could take their entire lifetime <clears throat> to get that work done. The um, the burial was also very sensitive to, it needed to be with family members um, whenever possible. Uh, and uh, so they often had sepulchers for the head of the family and then people would be buried near them or with them. But um, they were very, very sensitive about their burial and so sensitive about it that they actually thought about it often through their entire lives. It was extremely important to them. Now, there's one thing the Jews do not practice, never did practice, because it was considered a disgrace. And that's cremation. For the body to be burned, it is considered a huge disgrace to the person and possibly the family and it was inflicted actually by some as punishment so let's get back to what Jesus said about fear him who can uh, cast your body into hell In Luke chapter 12, verse 4, it says, And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Now, we have explained that the word hell that appears in the Bible through the Old Testament and the New Testament was randomly translated that way by the European translators because they had a Christian agenda to do so. They had a religious agenda to do so. They wanted to create fear. However, in the Old Testament, wherever hell appears in English, the word is the grave. That's all it ever was. God never warned uh, the Jews about a place that modern Christians think of uh, that's called hell. He never warned them of a place like that, ever. And here, Jesus originally did not use the word hell either. He used the word Gehenna. And that's what it's like living in an RV park. <laughs> and so Jesus used the word Gehenna. What was Gehenna? The Jews knew very well what Gehenna was. Gehenna is, was in the Valley of Hinnom, which still exists today. The Valley does. But Gehenna was a round-clock trash dump where the trash was taken outside of the city and burned. And occasionally they would burn people there, bodies. Uh, there were even some really heinous... Uh, human sacrifices that had been done there. And so occasionally 
uh, a dead body would be burned in Gehenna, but it was it was a practice to disgrace the dead as, as form of punishment. And the Jews feared that terribly. But in their minds, when Jesus said this, and when they heard Jesus say what he said, they were not thinking about some spiritual place of, of eternal torment and punishment. They were thinking about that trash dump outside the city of Jerusalem. It's good news, folks. Um, hell has been nothing but a tool that Christianity throughout the centuries has used to hold over people's heads in fear to get Christians to line up and fall in line with what the church tells them. And I'm here to tell you, it's not true. That place does not exist. And thanks to the gospel, sin and death have no sting, they have no victory, and the Florida Nats are back. It's revolutionary, folks. Have a revolutionary week.